Hey guys, Base Shogun here, and today we have a Marvel Studios Allure trading card video. So to my knowledge, these are high-end trading cards. They're very expensive. This box has 20 cards in it. That's five packs of four cards, and each card works out to about $275 or $11 for a four-card pack. Absolutely ridiculous, but it does promise you the out of the ballpark chance of pulling an actor autograph or other super rare card. I know how these things work. I thought we'd pick one up just for fun. So let's get into the video. But before we do, we're gonna take a look at my trading card collection as of today. Okay guys, so right now here is my current card collection. We have Power Rangers Mega Force cards right here. And those keep going. We have a little bit of different ones there from the action card game. I, all those might be actually. And then I have my set of original uh, MMPR trading cards. I have a bunch of packs left to open. Hopefully we can get a complete set. That would be very cool. As you can see all that there. And then next up, we do have some kingdom uh, box cards there you get with figures. Uh, some Magic the Gathering Transformers cards here, and a Lone Fortress Maximus from Titan's Return. So that's where I got so far, guys. I used to be super into Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was a younger man. Uh, I have sold all that, got out of it, but it's still fun to pull some cards once and a while. So let's get into this card box without further ado. Oh, we probably did that off camera, but that's all right. First impressions here. These are supposed to be quite premium trading cards. And it opens like a treasure chest almost. That's pretty funny. Uh, blaster box exclusive. So here it is packaged nicely. Let's get them out of the box. Okay, one, two, three, four and five card packs right there. It does say 14 plus. I do believe that is probably because they are so damn expensive that anyone under 14 will not be affording them. Okay, let's see what we get, guys. I have no idea what to look for, what's good, what's bad. We're just doing this for fun here. Here we go. Okay, one down. All right, we have Thanos here. Sharon Carter, look at the back, very nice. I do notice they're kind of bent out of the thing. I don't know what's that. Uh, Don Cheadle as War Machine, ooh. Vin Diesel as Groot, all right. Very cool stuff. I kind of see what's going on here. I guess this is, you know, premium uh, trading cards for mainly the movies there, kind of hype up the actors and stuff like that. All right, next pack, guys. Now, unfortunately, wearing gloves is making this quite difficult, so I'll be back in a moment. All right, and pack, pack number two has bitten the dust there. And we have Andy Serkis as Ulysses Klo, maybe? I don't know. Um, oh, we got a double there. That's This one has some kind of gold border, so that's uh, pretty neat. And then we got Korg there with Tika, what, what is something there? Uh, Iron Man 2, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. And then the back of these just have a little bit of... Uh, info about the character from the movie there as well as some cool little logos there all right not too bad guys so so far i don't know what we're looking for but um well this one's got a gold border so that might mean it's um uh more desirable who knows and the third pack we have jane foster there we have hawkeye uh, we have Sharon Carter gold version, and there's Ant-Man and the Wasp 
the wasp. Pretty neat stuff, guys. On to the next pack. All right, and this is the second to last pack. There we go. I do like the villains. That is very cool. Ultron. This is character posters there. I have no idea what that is. It's an Okoye there from Endgame. Very cool. And we got another Thanos. This one's gold, I think, there. And we have uh, Jeff Goldblum as the Grand Master. So that's pretty cool, guys. On to the last card pack. I do want to say I'm being very gentle with these. And like, this one's got a little bit of scratching on it. So yeah, I don't know what they're doing in shipping, but uh, yeah, that's a bit rough. All right, here's the last pack. So far, my favorite pull has been this Ultron there. I do dig the villains. And our last pack today, we have an Ant-Man. We have the Winter Soldier. We have Proxima Midnight there. Pretty cool stuff. And the last one we pulled is Tom Holland as Spider-Man. All right, so here's a quick recap of what we all got here. One uh, poster card, I think that is. A couple of these gold framed ones. And yeah, then these two right here. So overall, I gotta say my favorite pull was still probably Ultron there. I think that's awesome. And just my kind of thoughts on Marvel Allure trading cards. I am not a trading card guy per se. I do enjoy it, but I'm not into it like robots. I don't really get it to me. These are very expensive for what you get. I don't think I pulled anything worthwhile, but then again, I wouldn't know. So thanks so much for watching this kind of fun uh, video, trying something a little bit new. Of course, we have done a little bit of pack opening here in the past. But remember guys, don't let anyone or anything ever stop you from collecting.